Hi, um, my name is Alex. Uh, I asked my Instagram followers if they would be interested in me making videos, pressing on all of these topics, and I got a lot of good feedback, so, you know, that alleviates the nerves a little bit. <laughs> now, one thing I do want to say about all this is, um, it's not a trend. This isn't something that you can watch a video and be like, I'm spiritual now. Like, that's that's not the way it works. Like, this is truly, truly, this is a working lifestyle. You have to work at it every day. It's not something that I can be like, oh, I have to do this today. I'll be positive and, and you know, a good person tomorrow. Like, that's not the way this works. This is truly, truly, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of dedication. And this truly is, it's your life. Okay, I have been what I like to call an empath. I'm a very, very sensitive empath, which I come across so many people that are highly, highly empathic. Um, what an empath is, is you are so sensitive to other people's energies. And if you're, right now, if you're somebody that is not into this stuff, you're gonna be like, this bitch is nuts, and energy is blah, blah, blah. But energy, we are made of it. Energy cannot be created, nor can it be destroyed. Our souls have been here since the beginning of time and they can't, they, they can't, they just can't be destroyed. Just scientifically, metaphysically, it can't. It just cannot be destroyed. Science is even saying like, hey, you crazy people that meditate and believe in your chakras, like you're correct. Well, thank you, sir. But, um, so most of my life, like in school, like I, it was very hard for me in school. Um, I was very bullied, I was very picked on, and I was very sensitive to everything going on around me. So if my teacher, because I always had a stronger connection to people that were way older than me. I never really got along with people my own age. It just, it, it never felt right. We didn't have any type of connection. So I would, if somebody was about to cry or somebody was upset, I would just, I would have a knowing. I would just feel it as if it was my own. If I was around somebody that was having like, you know, that stomach anxiety, that awful stomach anxiety, I would feel it and I would feel it as if it was my own. So I would sit there and be like, something bad's gonna happen, something bad's gonna happen, what the hell? And I would call all my friends and be like, is anything bad gonna happen to me? I feel like something bad's gonna happen to me. Or you empath other people's pain. That's what being an energy sensitive person is. You're so empathic to other people's stuff that you feel it as if it's your own. So I became a very severe hypochondriac. I've had, um, according to WebMD, I've had 10 types of cancer. I should be dead. I've had Lou Gehrig's disease. I've had lupus. I've had everything under the sun. But what I didn't understand was I was energy sensitive. And I thought I was just a fucking whack job. I thought I was, I was just, I was a lunatic. And then life became very hard for me. Um, it became hard for me to go into large groups because I would get very depleted of energy. Um, I would get very tired all the time. I would get scared of people um, just because I would be picking up on bad energy around me. If I, you know, came home from school, I would be nasty because I was around a bunch of frustrated people. And I, I didn't understand that at the time. I didn't understand what was going on with me. Um, I didn't understand why I cried so easily and I was so open to express my emotions with people because I'm very, I'm very in touch with my emotions and I'm very, um, one with my emotional side. Like if I want to cry, I'm not going to hold back because that's very important. And what I've learned through all this is how you feel is how you feel. Nobody could tell you that's wrong. If somebody tells you you're being dramatic, you know what? Who are they? They can't judge you. They can't tell you how you're supposed to feel. How you feel in yourself is how you feel. And that is never wrong. So always express how you feel. I mean, always. Even if you feel like what you're about to say isn't, like, couldn't make sense. Like, I feel upset right now and I can't understand why. Express it. Let it out. Speak your truth. Let, let anybody know how you're feeling. It's not crazy. It's not dramatic and it's not stupid. How you feel is how you feel and you are a human. You have every right to feel exactly how you want to feel. Now that I'm done with that rant. Um, so I had just a very hard time living day to day life. Um, I found myself with these toxic relationships with people. Um, I, friends were not good. 
Like, I was constantly getting fucked over and constantly getting walked on. And I've never had it in me to harm somebody. I've never had it in me um, to, to just do bad to somebody. Like, when somebody did wrong to me, it's almost like I had a higher understanding of it. Um, and I just couldn't, if they, like, hurt me in a way, I couldn't do it back. I just didn't have it in me because something about me and in my confused state where I was scared to leave the house, I was scared to make new friends, I thought everybody was out to get me, I thought everyone was talking about me, I constantly thought I was dying, it was just, I was living in my own hell. I was in my own personal hell. And nobody could understand it like I would try to explain to my friends and I would be like this is how I'm feeling and my chest is tight and it's hard to breathe and I constantly have the stomach anxiety and it's like after a point nobody wants to hear it anymore because they either think you're crazy or they just don't care because nine times out of ten like it's a very ego-filled world and people only care about themselves and they only care about personal gain and that's not everybody I'm not saying but I'm saying where I was at that point in life that's how it was. It was like, well, I, I don't really care that you're going through this. And I had nobody. I would try to talk to my parents about it. And it's very hard when parents don't understand how to help their child. When you're, I was coming home from school every day hysterically crying. Like, I didn't even want to go to school anymore because, A, people were so mean to me and always picked on me because I was an ugly little weirdo, which, you know what? It's made me a better person, so... If you feel that way, if you feel like you're the weird kid in school, God bless you, because you're probably, you're, you're doing good in life. <laughs> but um, my parents didn't know how to help me. No one knew how to help me. I didn't even know how to help me. I was sitting, I was watching YouTube videos on, you know, because finally, after years upon years upon years of just always freaking out, and always having anxiety, scared to leave my house. I was always depleted of energy. I always had headaches. I always had knee aches. I always had back aches. I felt like I was falling apart at like 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 years old. Um, I would walk into rooms and if there was like, now I know this, it, but then at the time I would walk into a room where there would be a fight or negative energy and I would freak out because I would start to feel like the walls were closing in on me and I didn't know what to do and it was really scary and it was really horrible but years down um, around 22 I got to a point where uh, it was affecting me going to work it was affecting my work day it was affecting me even getting in the car because I would go to get in the car and I would get overwhelming stomach anxiety and so obviously that meant I was gonna crash you know because I always I always believed in my intuition that I did always believe in and I always knew that my intuition was very true um, so I never discredited it but I didn't understand like okay is my intuition telling me that I'm gonna get into a car accident or am I what is this anxiety like what's happening and I was really scared it was, it was very, very, very scary. So then I started Googling. You know, it's a blessing and a curse, Googling with certain things. So I would Google, I feel like I'm going to cry when other people are going to cry. And after a bunch of pages, um, I got directed to a site that explained empaths. And I read about it, and I read, and I was like, holy shit. I was like, this is me. This is me to a T. I'm not a psycho. I'm not a maniac. Like, I win. <laughs> all of us, all of us people that have a knowing, we've been called out our whole lives to do this work. Um, it started a lot in 2012. In 2012, it was a spiritual awakening for so many people. So many people were starting to understand that, like, okay, well, there's something more to all this. Like, there has to be something going on. Um... I know I feel this, I know I feel this, I know that this helps me, and more people are coming out of nowhere knowing that, you know, stones are helping them, or doing these Buddhist mantras are helping them, or reading this is helping them, and the power of positive energy, and the power of positive thinking, and the secret, and manifestation, and the laws of the universe, and like, everyone's just like, oh my god, like, there's so much more to this life that I'm starting to understand, and... So 2012 was a really big year for a lot of people, and a lot of people got what I like to call the spiritual awakening, which is where something so dramatic happened to you that it led you that there was no answers. 
There was no answers for anything. So it led you to something else. It led you to something spiritual. So I worked with Tracy and years later I became a Reiki master. Um, I am a totally new person. I have confidence. I have learned to love myself. I know where I'm going. I know what I'm doing. I know how I feel. I know Alex is what counts and in here is where I'm beautiful. And that's what this whole shift is about. This whole shift and this coming into spirituality, it's all about understanding that there's so much more going on. Like there's so much more going on with all of us and, and separating our human brain, which our human brain is our biggest enemy. Like your intuition will tell you, you could do it, you could do it, you could do it, you'll be great. And then your human brain will get involved and be like, no, no you can't, you're an idiot, no, no. And it's like it's our biggest enemy. So it's been a lot of work separating my human brain and my higher consciousness brain. I'm gonna do a video every week talking about certain things and talking about energies. Um, a lot of people email me asking questions and what I think I'm gonna do for next week is I'm going to have um, just an email. I'm going to set up an email and I'm just going to answer questions, like general questions that everybody has and maybe that could answer something with you. Um, if there's one thing that I have to do on this earth, um, I know it's, you know, take the beautiful things that my teacher has taught me and share it with the world. Um, I live a better life. I live a great life. I live a beautiful life. Not because of what I have, not my material possessions, but because of the knowledge that I now have and the way that I live my life. You know, understanding energy is very, very important. It's like, it's just like breathing, basically. Like, understanding that if you're in a high energy situation, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel a little weird. You're not gonna feel like yourself. And understanding that if you're around negative energy, you're going to get a headache and you're going to get anxiety and your chest is going to feel tight and you're just not going to feel like yourself. Um, it's very hard in this day and age because the veil is so thin with energy to feel like yourself and to know who you are. But I hope um, if I could help one person with that, then, you know, I'm doing my job. I'm doing what I was meant to do because I never felt right in my own skin and I was never pretty I was never, you know, the guys on the football team in high school, they never looked twice at me. Nobody ever looked twice at me. Nobody ever cared about me. Um, friends didn't care about me. People didn't care about me. My family cared about me, and that's all I needed. Um, and now life is beautiful, and I'm truly grateful for everything that I went through. So showing that you could be into this work, and you could feel like you don't belong here, and then you start to understand it all, and then you feel like you've never belonged somewhere more. Um, just really coming into yourself and helping yourself to learn how to love you and it's it's so beautiful It's so awesome. It's so wonderful So if I could show you you could be into this weird shit, which I just say to me It's normal. It's the only normal thing to me like if I'm in a high-energy situation I'm like I need to go outside like I need to do this get do my thing to get rid of energy That's normal to me, but just letting you know you could you could go out with friends You could have a good time. You don't have to you don't have to seclude yourself to you know, just sitting in the house and not going out and not doing anything. Like, if that's your thing, then that's fine. That's beautiful. But me, I'm going to get the very best I can out of this life. I'm going to love the life I have. I'm going to love my human experience, shine my light on the world. And, you know, that's, that's what I'm here for. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And then next week, what we're going to do is we're going to do questions. So you guys can email me questions and I will be answering them. All right, guys, uh, love and light, love each other. Please love each other. Be good to each other. Um, have the best day ever.